entering the Philippines by the back door. Most people enter the country by plane, but I'm going to take this boat from Tawau in Sabah to Bongao, Tawi Tawi. But right now I'm still in Peninsula, Malaysia, and on our journey, we stop by a small town, famous for its noodles. Yeah, they have, they have, they have. Yeah. <laughs> Malaysia, one time me. These open air food courts are the best way to experience local specialities that you might not have heard of. On top are noodles with a sweet soy sauce, then a delicious soup and wanton dumplings. Flavour there, yeah, yeah, lots of flavour. And this one is, I don't know. And there's also some unique snacks. Two baskets where you put a uh, bamboo across your shoulder. So you have chicken, some wine and biscuits. One of them is this, called wife cake. You bring this biscuit, it's actually a biscuit, to your in-laws or future in-laws with the dowry already negotiated cash, whatever, in kind, whatever. But it applies only to certain dialects of Chinese people. It's not all. We also have crispy chicken biscuits. Shat kek ma. I'm starting my trading journey already. What's this one? That's like, that's very interesting. Okay. This one, pop one. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 try. Oh. <laughs> the filling tastes like mince pie. Mm. <laughs> hey, I know you, I know you. You like, you like. Food is life. Food is life. See you in Philippines. Yes, see you in Philippines. So, wait, wait. I have here. a coffee. Oh. Coffee for you. Oh, white it's, coffee. Yeah, it's very famous in Nepal and it's the best in Malaysia. Oh, thank you. Okay. Barter. Barter. No, there's no barter. It's just friends. See you. Bye-bye. Back on the road. Hopefully not too disrupted by the monsoon. Near the capital, expressways skirt the city, heading straight, in our case, for the airport. There's no direct ferry link between Peninsula Malaysia and Borneo, so the only option except for a long convoluted route via Indonesia is to fly. So we actually have to go through immigration again, just to get into Sabah. Same with Sarawak, because they're under slightly different immigration rules. Get another stamp in the passport, even though I entered via Sabah. Interesting history here, because of course, before the Federation, they were all governed independently. I stayed a night in Kotakinabalu, but it's also possible to fly direct to Tawau from Kuala Lumpur. But I'm glad I flew over the magnificent Bornean rainforest by day. You can swim landed at Tawau Airport. For your safety, please remain seated. Tawau's airport is located 30 kilometers out of the city, but there's plenty of grab cars available. Yeah, the monsoon's here as well. The rain is so heavy and I really hope it's not like this tomorrow, because the boat will not go. So before I go out and explore Tawau, actually that stop we made at the start of the video in a place called Bidor in Perak, it fits this video quite nicely because it lets me make an explanation about kind of the Chinese communities here in Malaysia. So on this flight to Tawau, I noticed there's a lot of people of Chinese ethnicity. And the Chinese mostly came to Malaysia, though some had come before, but mostly came during the 1800s and early 1900s, when it was under British rule. So of course the peninsula was more direct British rule. That was truly a colony. Where we are now in Sabah was only a British colony from 1946. Before that, it was a protectorate run under a kind of corporate company structure. It was the North Borneo Company. They were the ones who, of course, negotiated the concessions with 
either the Sultan of Brunei or the Sultan of Sulu. It, it goes a lot deeper than this, but that's basically it. The Chinese were often brought here, and even our driver there, he said his grandfather was an indentured laborer. His pack passage here was paid for by basically one year of slave labor. But they came here, they worked in the plantations, the mines, or in logging. But the thing with the Chinese were, they wouldn't settle to be a laborer all their life. A lot of them ended up forming their own plantations, they got their own land, or they went into the logging business, or as many now are, into the retail business. So that's kind of the history of the Chinese here. Before the colonial days, here particularly in Taowao, there were a number of ethnic groups in the mountains, sorry I forgot the names, but also the Suluks, or the Taosugs, there were Bad Jaos, and Bugis from the islands of Sulawesi in Indonesia. So this is really a point where many, many groups came together. We have the mountains, we have the ocean. I don't know much more about that, and I'm going to have to really explore to find out. Eighteen ninety-eight, I think, is the year that Chinese migrants in Taiwan started to really develop. This bell tower is the only thing that survived World War Two here. World War Two was particularly harsh on Borneo, and not a lot did survive. Kotakin and Baloo was flattened apart from also a clock tower. This was actually built after the end of the First World War by Japanese businessmen. Taitarik, it's like a pool of milk tea. They give me this special energy to do everything I need to do. I need to eat first and then let's have a look in the market. Let's see what's there. Murtabak stuffed chicken pancake. I haven't had one of these yet. So, since it's here, some places you go to and, and they say it's the wrong time. And I haven't figured out the right time for it yet. So, that over there is the market. Five floors tall, or six, I forgot. Biggest one in the whole of Malaysia. 6,000 stalls, apparently. It's at the intersection of Malaysia, Philippines, and Indonesia. Downstairs, mostly dry snacks and wet goods. This here seems to be dry fish. I saw the word lapot. They have a food court here as well. The top is, oh, government offices, never mind. A floor below is like a bazaar full of things that I may or may not want to take back home. 25 ringgit. Oh, 25 this one. And then, nice, nice. nice bag, huh? nice, yeah. Nice, nice bag. Very nice. You want to see? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Oh, you also have this small one. Oh, these ones are nice. Two, huh? two zip. Mm. You see, nice. Yeah. Take it one. Just so 25. 40. Ah, like a dong. 20. 20 ringgit. Nice. Oh, this one's nice. Yeah, yeah. I take this one. Then, this one you want? Yeah, then this one, yeah. For my wife, yeah. Uh, for your wife. Yeah. You just put like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. it's nice. Huh? Yeah. Just 45. 45, okay. You are from? From UK. Oh, from but UK. I live in Philippines. Oh, you live in Philippines? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow I ride the boat. Oh. Yeah. This one? Uh, from Bungao? Uh, to to Bungao, Bungao. yes. Oh, to yes. Bungao. Yeah. Oh. I read that one. Hopefully not full. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, seven o'clock, buy tickets. Yeah. yeah. And Bongao too? Then Bongao to Davao. Oh, Davao. Yeah, I live in Davao. Oh, you yeah. live in Davao. Davao City. Davao City, yeah. Davao yeah, City. yeah. You've been to Philippines? Ah, uh, just one. One times. Yeah. Zambonga City. Oh, Zambonga. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice place. Yeah, Zambonga. Yeah, nice I like Zambonga. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 
So, how about the snacks? Fish, fish, what? Uh, cheese. A oh, cheese? Okay. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. One, yeah, seven yeah. Ringgit. Okay, I was actually looking for noodles as well, but I saw there's a grocery store. I'll try that instead. Also, the lady in the market seems to know about that boat. Seven o'clock, that's what I've heard as well. So, as long, it seems like as long as I go early, they'll have tickets. Oh, Christmas. Number one target found immediately. There was this delicious soy sauce I tried and I forgot the words. They taught me the words for sweet and for thick and I've forgotten all of it. Kika Manes Pedas, yeah, I think that's the one. Remaining British influence. And then there's this. Looks like Kulas's thumbnails. I should get some for him. Prices of food seem less than the Philippines, especially rice. Fridges seem around about the same, appliances and stuff. So the reason I do this and buy some stuff and bring it is, this is the old barter trade routes of before. And the reason this boat exists at all is because earlier this year, actually during my first visit there, I wondered why all the hotels were full. It's because there were lots of government officials signing a new deal, a barter trade deal, formalizing it basically. This has been informal for many, many years. They buy some products here, take them to Tawi Tawi. That's why you find so many goods from, from here in Tawi Tawi all the way up to Zamboanga. And then they bring other stuff back and set it here. That's been going on for centuries. Really old. I'm walking in the rain, let's get up the rain. I just wanted to check out whatever that was. So, I'm doing a small-scale barter trade, kind of. Today, I found out that Tanga means stairs in Malay. There we go. Okay. Here's my huge barter trade haul. I say barter trade. This isn't barter trade. This is just me bringing Passer and Bomb. I haven't seen some of these before, so I'm going to try them out. I don't have that much space in my bag because I already have stuff that I got from Ipo. I've got to try this. I've got to, as soon as I saw Saba tea, I've got to, I've got to try this one. Rainforest tea. They say it's organically grown with no pesticides because it's inside the forest. I've somehow, somehow got to get all of this into this bag. It would be doable, but I have all my dirty laundry, which is the majority of the weight. So maybe I'll just leave that behind. I don't know. Everything closes really early. I've just noticed because there's one Tito Essential I really, really need, which is Tiger Balm. Tiger Balm is the best thing in the world for certain purposes. Legit purposes, of course. I'm like a moth going towards the light and then there's nothing. It's like when moths go towards the light, they're also I don't know, are they disappointed? I don't know. Do they feel anything? Turns out there is a bit of activity here at night. Zorva Sporting Yum Yum, nice name. Could buy a costume. I can get Tiger Bar. There are restaurants, but I'm not that hungry. Things I can't find at home. Oh, what's this? There's a night market in a few days' time. That was Jalan Masjid, so that's there. And Jalan Chester, and at Chester. There's some really nice wooden shop houses here. Hey. Hey, you do Hey, yeah, man. You good? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> My name's Anselm. Anselm, yeah. What's your name? My name is Chico. Toby. Toby, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, bye bye, bye bye. Oh, wa salam. I remembered, I remembered, I remembered the response. I always forget the response. Oh, 
Just about. Right, it's five something in the morning. The boat actually goes at nine, but they told me yesterday be at ticketing seven o'clock sharp. So I'm gonna go a little bit early just in case. This route's only three months old. Before, you've always been able to go Sandak and Zamwonga. That route's been open for a while, 22 hours overnight. Now there's Tawau going to Bongao, and soon there's also going to be Lahadatu going to Bongao. So these options in this part of the world are really opening up. Boats. It doesn't feel real yet. Yeah, that bag's heavy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> 350 ringgit, so that's around 4,000 pesos each way. It's happening. One last Taitari before I go back. Bear in mind this works like a normal international border, so unless you're a permanent resident like I am, you're going to need to have a return or onward ticket coming back out to the Philippines. Through immigration and up close and personal with the MV Ming High. It's a bit bigger than I expected. I think 100 plus passengers. It's mostly people who are either from here and have business in Bongao, or people in Bongao who come here for business or for family. I've met guys whose families are here, but they were born there. These links go a long way back. On board, you can go downstairs or upstairs. I've gone upstairs. Actually, these seats are pretty comfortable. We'll see in seven hours time if I agree, but pretty comfortable. And we immediately rolled into a storm, which the boat handled really well. I hope I don't have to though, because... Actually, even though we're going through a storm, this is very, very comfortable. It's, you don't feel it at all. White sand beaches and floating houses. With the ocean much calmer, I decided to explore the boat a bit in search of a cafe. <laughs> A packed lunch on a sandwich. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, a noodle. Oh, no, noodle, sorry. grey chips. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no, I book now. Oh, no, I 100 plus. 100 plus, but he Oh, Siggy. And I went for the international cuisine aboard the international boat. From coastal villages not unlike those of Basilan, Sulu and Tawi Tawi, to floating resorts, this is still part of Malaysia. So we're about halfway through the trip, four hours in, that was Simpona there. We're going to see Sitangkai Sibutu soon and then we'll head into Bongao probably just before the sun sets. And for dinner, it's got to be Malaysian noodles. Meal of champions. So we passed Panguan Island, entered Philippine waters. We're just going past Sitangkai now as the sun's setting. It's a little bit longer than the seven to eight hours we were expecting, but it's been a great adventure. It's nice to come this way to see how the world opens up. Back to Bongao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm back. Legally. <laughs> <laughs> long day, long day, long day. Yeah. But we made it. Been almost all the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward Very to eating. Burst. We arrived 8 o'clock. It's now 10.20 p.m. I'm done with everything. I'm legally in the country. And I'm going to go through the back door. Terrible joke. Come through the back door and I'm going through the back door. 
and going into Bongao, into the Philippines via boat. It's amazing. Hey, thank you, thank you. This is... Ah, we've got... Hey, thank you. All the food options are closed. They've literally taken me to a wait to eat. You drink coffee. Ah, thank you, thank you. Too loco. Salamat ka ayo. Oh, the single. Tunggu saya kau di buku. Oh lagi. Segi segi. Ya, segi masih segi. Segi segi. Next time, next time, next time, ah. Okay, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. And we're back to where it all started in Koya's Inn, or where my first trip to Tawi Tawi started. It's uh, it's really interesting to see this boat link actually. Guys like as Ram who I met there at the end, his family's from Sibuto, but his parents moved to Semporna in Saba during I think the 70s. So he was born there as a Malaysian passport, but he said he's he's Sama. So there's a lot of these kind of family links over boundaries and there's also a lot of trade links. There's there's a lot of similarities between the places and also Plenty of differences. A lot of these differences just from differing historical paths, really. For example, I don't have to use my adapter to plug things in. And then when I came up, this is room 207, and I thought, oh no, second floor, what? Wait, first floor is the one above... No, second floor is the one above ground here. In Malaysia, it's the British system. First floor is the one above ground. Second floor is two up. And that's what keeps us all unique, really. But at the same time, there's a lot of similarities. And I always say that just because there's a border there doesn't mean suddenly things totally change. It's gradual, gradual, gradual. Because people here have been mixing and mixing for centuries. And this boat really is, it's that, it's that link again. That mixing continues. The barter trade is really at the base of it. And it's nice, nice to see that that's continuing. It's not quick, no, but it's an adventure. And it's really great if you're in Samba and you want to come to explore Tawi Tawi, it's perfect. It's a good link. And it's much more useful for the locals as well. That's what it's really there for. Yeah. Speaking of barter trade, tomorrow, there's still a barter market. Minakaswa. Ah. Minakaswa. 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 Minakasw